We have things and support systems that other Ivy League schools do not have. So for me, I, you know, we try to highlight that first, and then also we are building something. So building something has to be special to people. And if it's not, then this is not the right place for you. If you want to go be a number, that's fine. But we need people who want to come and change the program and change the culture. Down Columbia, Miami trying to foul. Four seconds left. Columbia wins the Miami Thanksgiving tournament. 71, 78, the final score. Tammy, your big thoughts coming out of this game this afternoon. hug, we kiss, we love. And, and when people say to me, how do you get through uh, life or, or each day, it's the same thing. To me, there are three things we all should do every day. We do this every day of our life. You're going to, what a wonderful, number one is laugh. You should laugh every day. Number two is think. You should spend some time in thought. And number three is you should have your emotions move to tears. It would be happiness or joy. But think about it. If you laugh, you think, and you cry, that's a full day. That's a heck of a day. You do that seven days a week, you're gonna have something special. And every day we're competing hard. Every day we're learning lessons and we face adversity every day and we're constantly battling back, constantly sticking together. And if we can do that every day, like we're gonna have a great season. And we're just very excited because we've had some great wins. We have a lot of confidence under our belt, but there's also so much more to improve on. And that's why every day we're battling in practice. We're always competing and we're gonna be ready when the time comes. A year ago to the day, first meeting came at Columbia, UMass victory. And talking to head coach Megan Griffith on the Columbia side yesterday, you could sense that there is a little bit of revenge factor in this game. Very impressive victory. They've won their sixth consecutive game. And the Lions victorious here in Amherst. We've been playing with the same group for a while. We only graduated one person last year. We added two amazing freshmen this year. So for the most part, it's pretty much the same group. I think we've gelled very well with each other. We found out like just how to play well with each other. So I think we're definitely bringing a lot of confidence in from last year, especially like even last year, like missing the COVID year, we, the beginning of the year was very rocky. We were still trying to figure out like how to play with each other, how to gel. And now it was like, we were stepping in. We were like 10 steps ahead this year and the season started. I've said I have a different mentality, but I think everybody on the team has a different mentality and that carries over like the freshmen are different than freshmen we've had in the past. Like everybody knows what we're here for and what the mission is and what we're trying to do. And like everybody's working towards it. Every like this morning we had an off day and everybody was in the gym. So like we know what we're here for. We know what we're doing and we're going to go out there and win that game.
she's got to pull her socks up. Pull up your socks. Pull up your socks. Oh, guys. Tavon's here. There you go. You're mid, Sears. You're mid, Sears. This is not walking through. Coach G always told me to run my own race and not compare myself to anyone else, not compare myself to how my teammates were progressing, but focus on myself and the little steps forward I was taking every day and just finding wins, small wins like that, and just seeing how they'd accumulate over time. So, I mean, I think I definitely had a rocky start to my college experience, but I couldn't be happier I am today and be surrounded by the people I'm with because they definitely Let's help back here with me get you through that time. And Jim is Columbia Tops Maris 103-54 for their first home win of the season. I am now joined by a young lady who certainly filled up the stat sheet. Paige Lauder, the New York Presbyterian Stay Amazing player of the game. Paige, a career high 24 points. You've I'm just happy that I finally found my groove. I think it took a while and I just try to stay true to myself and focus on my growth and I think it's paying off and like it's only just the beginning like I'm only going to keep getting better and this team's only going to keep getting better and we just have a really bright future ahead of us. Like I'm not I'm not leaving here without a championship so that's based, that's the mentality I'm not leaving here without a championship so I'm going to do whatever it takes to to make that happen. I think we should only have one loss right now. <laughs> Could have put Vanderbilt away, but like those are learning lessons throughout the season. But I feel good about the non-conference and I think we played some good teams and it's only gonna help us benefit us going into Ivy League play. I think my mindset is just like completely changed i i realized like i've i've had to step up and and fill a role and be a voice on this team yeah, stay with it! Stay with it! nice cut abby put it up put it up I, i've been talking so much more in practice hyping people up and um on game day i just i really get locked in and it's been helping me focus and just like keep playing my game the entire game wait jay We're still setting that screen? Yeah. Okay. I thought you said to get into five or something's there, but oh, no, no. okay, I'll no, set that for you. Because we want to take away the access. Oh, yeah. Okay, like got the, it, got it. I'll set it. Yeah. So it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Communication, honestly, Coach G talks about it all the time, but like it really does help and help you be better at everything. Defense, offense, helping your teammates out. It's the best thing you can do. Basketball's always been fun for me, but like this year we're we're really trying to do something and achieve something and like I'm not going down without swinging first, you know? So that that's the main thing for me is like it's comeback. Not comeback, it's it's revenge.